yeah, Chris Holloman, director of the Motivate Lab and uh, associate professor of education and psychology at the University of Virginia. And what we do in our lab is we um, design, develop, test, and implement at scale um, changes in educational practices that can benefit students and organizations focused on, um, we target um, motivation and mindset. So what we're really trying to do is help organizations instigate changes in their context, whether it's teaching practices, advising practices, whatever, that will support students' mindsets. And by mindsets, we mean their attitudes and beliefs about themselves and learning and growth mindsets are a really popular one. Many people have heard of that from Carol Dweck, but we also talk about helping students find purpose and relevance in what they're studying and help students feel like they fit in and connect socially that they belong. One of the ways that we have the most experience working with campuses is we identify um, a challenge they have around a certain subpopulation of students, for example, developmental or remedial math or uh, underrepresented minority students. And then we identify, we understand the system to identify what are the particular obstacles or challenges there that are preventing students to get the outcomes they want. And then we look for ways in which um, our motivation interventions can be employed to help uh, ameliorate those obstacles and get students on their way. Um, and so we do a lot of work directly with students, targeting them with uh, interventions that get at uh, changing their growth mindset or helping them see purpose and relevance in what they're learning. And those are often activities that students do online, interacting with materials on a computer. Um, and and those, are, those are easy to deliver at scale. Uh, but we have to first develop those and make them fit into the context. We have to, we don't just go in and say, hey, here's a worksheet, here's, here's, you know, here's a link to a growth mindset intervention, give this to all your students. We don't feel like that's responsible use, that we want to go in and learn and understand the context. But that's really the tip of the iceberg. Uh, the other things we do are help um, make small changes to already existing programs. So we call these mindset enhancements or mindset enhancers. So maybe you have a, an advising program and we might go in and help tweak a little bit the way advisors interact with students to help them see more value in what they're learning. Or um, maybe have an orientation program and highlighting the pathway of value similar to your pathways with purpose, but help do that in, in particular ways. Um, we might tap into existing professional development programs that help teacher, help faculty um, develop their teaching skills and help them embed, teach them ways to embed uh, teaching practices that promote growth mindset. I think the other thing I'd say, mindsets and motivation uh, have a ton of potential and there's a lot of excitement and energy around adopting practices in education, broadly K-12 and higher ed, uh, that promote student learning mindsets. And what we try to communicate to folks is yes, be excited because there's a lot of potential here. Uh, but that these uh, practices, these changes in practices that target mindsets are precise. And um, it's not so, it's possible to actually undermine the kind of mindsets if you don't implement things carefully. And so that's why we take a really careful approach to helping people implement changes in their practices that will actually promote the kinds of mindsets and motivation that matter and not uh, unintentionally undermine students' motivation and mindsets, even though they think they're doing the right thing. So I think it's, a, it's like, yes, continue to be excited, but also there's some uh, room for caution and, and we should be, move forward wisely.